Hi everyone, welcome to Jen the Real Fluencer, where we talk about beauty, fashion, and real life stuff. Today we are gonna be getting into really just everything and anything shapewear related. So this concept for this video was originally brought up during my previous video where I talked about eight unique ways to look thinner, like advice from someone not already thin, you know what I'm saying? And one of my eight things in there was this concept of having a shapewear wardrobe and the idea of it's like we're we all know what shapewear does like the kind that we all love to hate and hate to love but I'm talking about that kind of course but also like really a comfortable shapewear wardrobe so that you know you're going to look better thinner whatever on the regular because there's not such a barrier to entry, if you will, that you need to overcome in order to put the stuff on. When we're talking about the traditional shapewear, we obviously all know how terrible yet necessary it is. First, I'm going to be starting with just this concept of what do I mean about a shapewear wardrobe and some of my best kind of just overall tips and tricks in terms of wearing any type of shapewear. And the second part of the video is actually more of a haul where I bought a whole bunch of, you know, new shapewear from Walmart, 95% of this is new because you know, I'm mean, like, it almost feels like I'm showing you my underwear, you know what I mean? So I want you to know that most of it is new, except for really one piece that is like my tried and true. So as we go through each piece, I will show you as how I would like to wear something like this. So we're gonna go through each piece like that. Anything that I can link below, I certainly will link below, but it's all very affordable because it is from. Walmart, which we love. What I really view as a shapewear wardrobe is this concept of not just having that like one shapewear that you're like, I'm going to a wedding this weekend, I'm wearing a nice dress and I need that one piece of shapewear that I have. It's really the idea of like, I have this specific need right here. I'm going to go to my shapewear wardrobe to address that need. And one of my first tips and tricks, if you will, is I actually wear these as my panties, underwear. I don't wear anything underneath them. And maybe at first hearing that, that sounds kind of gross to you, but I feel like bunching is definitely a concern with shapewear. <laughs> and the whole idea of wearing them as, you know, the only thing that you're wearing under there, it does make it possible when you have a, a wardrobe, if you will, if you have more than two pairs. The next thing is really this concept of having a mix of comfortable shapewear and then the, you know, terribly uncomfortable shapewear that again, you know, we all are usually pretty <laughs> familiar with. So. so I have both. I recommend you have both as well. But what I think really makes a difference is the comfortable shapewear. And the reason is because that other shapewear, let me tell you, I'm like that other shapewear, <laughs> I, I hate wearing it. And I'm sure you do too. You know, we love the way it makes us look, but it is so uncomfortable. I get extreme anxiety when I'm going to the bathroom because I'm like, <laughs> how long am I going to be gone? Is anybody going to notice? It's somewhere in the middle with like medium type of support pressure so that you can just kind of whip it down much easier I would say than normal shapewear a little bit harder than normal underwear but it makes that whole concept of just wearing it a little bit more pleasant and you'll wear them more often so that's why I put that in my eight unique ways to look thinner video is like this idea that if you have comfortable shapewear, you'll actually wear it. <laughs> and we know that shapewear does make us look thinner and better and whatever. Therefore, if you are actually wearing it, you'll actually achieve those things more on the regular versus that one time for that one wedding that you go to. But what I have found to be best is definitely if you're wearing something that's like tucked in, tuck the item into the shapewear. That's just gonna give you a better silhouette. You know, you're probably trying to look slim in some area there that might be more fitted. And then you've got like a weird bunching shirt situation. It's just better to tuck it right into the shapewear. And by the way, I do that with my actual underwear too. You know, when I'm not wearing shapewear and I'm wearing something tucked in, you best believe that I'm tucking that into my underwear. I know it sounds probably weird or whatever, but who cares? It's all down there anyway, right? So many people ask me, oh, what bodysuit are you wearing? I'm almost never wearing a bodysuit, but because I tuck 
things into, we'll just say whatever I'm wearing underneath my pants. <laughs> it gives that bodysuit effect. So now we're moving into the part of the video where I'm going to show you all the shapewear that I got, tell you how I would wear it. That's the idea of this video is that you'll get ideas for different ways you can wear shapewear. If you have any other great suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I would absolutely love to hear. I'm going to save like my game changing pair for the end. And those are actually the pair that really it's not new and I've had them for years. Oh, look, we've got so many good ones. I even saved all the packaging so that I could make sure to link literally the exact ones. We're gonna just be talking about almost like the general shapewear. So that way, you know, if you do get it somewhere else, it's totally fine and you'll kind of have that idea. And if you are particularly interested in something, as I mentioned, I will, I will link it below. If I can, if I can link all it. Right, so let's start with these. So they call these like a slip short. So when you look at them, you know, they're not going to be as tight as normal shapewear. And what I would wear something like this for is actually to just be really comfortable underneath a dress. If you can relate, please like the video. I get major chaffage. You know, chaffage is real for me. A maxi dress doesn't matter. I mean, it's really the idea of not chafing. These thongs actually are ones I have never tried, so I'm really anxious to try them. So I don't really wear thongs. I'm not a thong person. I mean, I used to be back back in the day. And anytime that I would wear any type of cute hosiery, if you will, my little trick wearing the hosiery, I generally am going to either be wearing shapewear as my underwear or underwear. Then I wear the hosiery and then I wear a thong. And I know that sounds weird. Like Jen, you just talked about bunching. That sounds like bunch city. I get it. Um, the reason I do a thong as the most outer layer versus just another pair of underwear is because it does help with the bunching. But the reason I do that is the crotch, it just starts to just migrate downwards. So I started doing that little trick of always wearing a thong anytime I would wear hosiery. So the reason why I got these is I've never tried a shapewear thong. I'll be wearing like a pencil skirt or something. If you have a pooch kind of belly situation in the front, which I certainly do. And I thought this could be a really great solution that works for both things. It can help with the shape and it can keep up my hosiery. Do we say hosiery anymore? Am I saying the right word? I'm like tights. I don't know. I feel like tights aren't, aren't the word. I think some people call yoga pants tights. I don't know. Tell me if the word isn't hosiery. I am really excited about wearing this with a romper. So it's a one piece. It's a pair of shorts. I love how it gives you that control right in here and then all the way down through your leg. And as you can see, this would go right up under your boobs there. So it's great because they're short enough that it would be covered by the romper. Because you know, often I think, probably think to ourselves, well, what can we wear with that? I don't know about you guys, but obviously there's so much shapewear out there. The, the type that I always think about, I guess, is really the type that's gonna go like decently up your stomach and then kind of end right above your knee. That by no means is the only shapewear, but for me, before I kind of started this shapewear wardrobe concept about having all this different shapewear for all different types of outfits, that was the shapewear that I had. So for me, that is always what comes to mind. And if I think about wearing something like that with a romper, it wouldn't work. I mean, even if the romper is not terribly short, the shapewear certainly would stick out. That is what I would use these for. Obviously, you could use them for you know, a number of things, but that's what I use it for. Right. Next, we're going to talk about actually two things that I've never tried. Well, the first one is this fitted kind of camisole. It's supposed to smooth the underarm bulge. You know, I certainly have that. Is it something that I'm overly self-conscious about? It's really not. We've got bigger fish to fry, if you know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> but I knew I was doing this video and I'm like, you know, I, it's a it's a good time, obviously, I feel like to for me to test out different shapewear. I, of course, don't have this, as I mentioned, but I will say I do have an array of very fitted camisoles. I mean, I even have one on right now. Um, these are just old. They're actually all from The Limited. Rest in peace, The Limited. You used to be one of my favorite stores. Wearing an undershirt like that every day, like that I'm wearing right now, it really does help just give an overall like smoothing appearance. This would do that as well. The bottom of this here has grippers there. So if you had this down over top of something, it in theory is supposed to stay and not roll up. And I can actually attest to the ones that I'm talking about because they're so tight and fitted and they're really not shapewear, they're more just probably tank tops that are that type of material that I got in probably a size too small to essentially be what I wanted them to be. I could never wear it untucked because it would just 
roll right up to my bra and it'd be just terrible. So this one here has belly control, which who cares, right? They all have belly control, most of them. But the reason I bought it is it has this butt lifter panel in the back. Can you kind of see that ruching back there? Do you see the packaging? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I was very intrigued. I feel like I don't know how much I struggle with this. I have a heck of a butt. I will say it is it is large and in charge. I don't know how much it's sagging yet. So maybe I'm not the best guinea pig. I'm sure time will not wear well with my butt. But for right now, it doesn't sag that much, I don't think. Um, but maybe it could provide, I don't know, just a nice contour or shape. High waist boy short. I started wearing shorts maybe only like two years ago now. Uh, I just was horrified of my legs and I wouldn't wear shorts. But I started wearing them because I was like, I'ma do me, you know what I'm saying? And I never thought to wear shapewear with shorts. And where I particularly struggle, see that kind of silhouette into where your waist meets your hip. And then for me, as you continue down the saddlebag area, those are 100% my concerns versus my stomach, which I certainly know stomach is a big concern for a lot of people. Um, and you know, my stomach is not great, but it's not as bad as my saddlebags. Okay. What I like about something like this is it provides a little bit more control. And I'm like the high waist queen. I tuck everything in. That's just like the silhouette that I like to create. But what I've always noticed with like jean shorts and stuff, I'd say before this year, cause I have found some good, pretty good high waist option jean shorts now. Just they're sitting lower on your stomach. So I have found something like this will take care of the muffin top because it goes a little bit down into the leg. It just kind of makes me feel like my legs aren't hung out to dry, you know, like they're getting a little bit of shape there. So. Next one probably doesn't look like anything super special, but it goes all the way up, you know, kind of your back. I'd call it like a low thigh. It doesn't go deep down into your thigh towards your knee. But the reason I specifically bought this one is because if you look at the packaging there, it specifically talks about back. It has specific boning for the back. Although the shape of this isn't super innovative or new to me in any way, the whole back thing is. Tell me down in the comments, what are you most self-conscious about when it comes to wanting to combat your issue with shapewear? Like I said, mine hands down is my saddlebags. We're all here in this video to support each other, right? That's... that's at least that's why I'm here. <laughs> Another pair here that I also got to wear with shorts, so kind of a newer concept to me at least, like I explained before. What I really like these for actually is those, I don't know how else to describe them other than to say like soft shorts. I think before I specifically talked more about jean shorts. As I said before, my biggest concern is my saddlebag area. And when you're just wearing shorts like that with nothing under them, and that's your concern area, they're just there on their own. But what's great about these, I mean, as you can see, they don't do much. I mean, in terms of they're not super tight, this is, and this is exactly, I mean, kind of case in point of what I mean about comfortable shapewear. I mean, you could whip these on, but having that just a little bit of extra protection, it does the world. What I said about this tank top earlier, this tank top here is not shapewear, but it just adds that little bit of extra layer. So I feel like that's what this does in a soft short. I should have started this one because this is like exactly what I mean about comfortable shapewear. I feel like I'm not going to have too much of a use for it. It's a high waist brief. I really don't have many like this and I'll tell you why, but also tell you what I wear them for when I have had them in the past. So this is going to be more of an actual like panty. This is great for particularly if you are somebody that is not concerned about your saddlebags. But because I mentioned that that's my biggest concern, that is one of the reasons why I shy away from these personally. I wish there's a better name for saddlebag. It's like the worst name. I hate it more than I hate the word cellulite. A couple reasons why I would wear these. If I'm in a situation and I was just gonna wear regular underwear anyway, so you could just slip these on and certainly be more form fitted throughout. One perfect example might be a pair of jeans. If you are maybe uncomfortable wearing high-waisted jeans tucked in, a little bit worried about your silhouette. For me personally, it would really be any type of situation where I probably wasn't gonna wear shapewear <laughs> because I didn't need it on my thigh, but that it would still help elevate a look or elevate an outfit, make me look just a little bit more slender, make me look a little bit more polished. I think these would be perfect for that. Another 
reason why I might wear something like this is I might couple these with the traditional shapewear. I've certainly been known, if you can relate to this, give this video a like. I've been known to wear two pairs of shapewear. I can admit that. To layer up, it would actually be great to get double stomach control with something like this coupled with one of those kind of longer shorts. Well, as we've gone on here, one of the ones that you might've been like, Jen, why haven't you featured that one? And I'll pop up exactly what I'm talking about here. But one pieces that has straps and tucks right underneath your chest area and then goes down into above the knee. I'd love to hear from you guys if you like those, but I'll tell you why I don't like them. It's not the way the straps are, but because they cut over so far onto the side, I've always, found that you see them with whatever I'm wearing. I mean, it pops out. Otherwise, they're great. The other issue that I do have with them is going to the bathroom is often very challenging. Now, I know some of them do have like the whole crotch situation and that that's fine, whatever. That's so fun to be female, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't shy away from having one in your just overall shapewear wardrobe, but I would say for me, it's definitely very low, very low on the list. I wanted to kind of explain that before I explain this one. It's a romper. I know I mentioned earlier that I had one good with rompers. So this is another one. And if you notice here, you can see this clearly is going to go over your chest area. It's not that weird situation where it's under your chest and then you got these straps that are way out here. And this just looks like a tank top. In terms of going to the bathroom, they have thought of the whole snap idea and obviously that's a great idea. And then the last thing that I wanted to bring up that I actually also don't have but I think that you should have in your shapewear wardrobe. I shouldn't say I don't have it. I can't find it. I can't find it. If you are busty like I am, everyone hates strapless brawls, right? It's essentially, you know, a bodice that builds into a strapless brawl. But I have found those to be hands down the best support if you are busty and need a strapless bra. Are you gonna wear that to an amusement park? You know, probably not. I highly recommend those and if I can find some really good ones, I certainly will link those for you as well. Oh my gosh, that made me so mad that I couldn't find it. So I went to look one more time and don't you know, I freaking found it. <laughs> Mine is just a normal panty at the bottom. And I honestly don't love that. So I will try to link some for you guys that have more of a short at the bottom if I can find any. The reason I don't love this is because look how thick this is. This leaves a heck, a heck of a panty line. Way worse than any panty line you would get with any normal panties. Although the bra part is great, the support is great. I don't recommend the regular bottom. I would try to get a shorts bottom. Another one that as you're listening to me ramble on here about shapewear longer than you ever wanted to, um, and you're probably thinking, why hasn't she mentioned that one yet? More of a form fitting dress the entire way down. So maybe not quite a slip, that's more just like a layer, but I'm talking about something that actually would give you some contour and some shape. That works for you. I absolutely think that you should have that in your shapewear wardrobe. For me personally, because I chafe so badly when I wear a dress, it really doesn't help me that much because I would just undoubtedly have to wear that plus still a pair of like shorts. Don't think that I would get enough use out of it, uh, you know, on its own or even paired with something else to really warrant, I don't know, even picking it up. I feel like it would just sit there. So if I uh, can find some on Walmart, since we're mostly here talking about Walmart today, I will certainly link some of those uh, below as well from some of my other favorite brands of shapewear that we talked about here today. And then these here, I just wanted to mention, you know, they really are, they're similar to what we saw at the beginning that I think I said I would wear under like even a big flowy dress to prevent chafage. Those are a little bit more form fitting. These are honestly just super comfortable. Sometimes you just, again, want that like extra layer. The example of my camisole here, having that extra layer just makes all the difference. So I would recommend having something like this in your arsenal, if you will, just to be able to throw on in really kind of just any various scenario. Again, the epitome of comfortable shapewear. The general thigh slimmer, as you can see at the top there, it says light, meaning it's just very light control. So I would view these as an alternative to the shapewear that I've kind of been ragging on. But you just want a little bit of control, probably just like, you know, think of maybe a dress that you wear to work or something. The stakes are low, it's just work, it's fine. There's not photography there. <laughs> <laughs> obviously fit under probably most dresses. They're short, but not too short and long, but not too long. They're right in the middle there. So easy 
up and down when you have to go to the bathroom. So you can probably see I didn't feature any of the very typical shapewear kind that starts right below your chest, goes probably to your, you know, right above your knee. And I have a million of those. For one, they are old ragged probably like don't really feel comfortable putting them on camera as I told you guys I do wear them as underwear what I will say about those is you absolutely should have those in your shapewear capsule wardrobe they're probably the most easily recognized type of shapewear I am mostly wear those with dresses and I certainly think that they're meant to be worn with dresses or skirts or uh, pants but the reason that I don't like wearing them with pants I always see a line doesn't matter. I honestly get more paranoid, I'm not joking, about that, the fact that you can see my shapewear, versus what I'm trying to cover up, which is actually really stupid. I mean, come on. Absolutely, you should have a pair of those, but I'll tell you, that is why I don't love them. And that is why I replace them with these. And this is what I've been waiting for to show you till the end. I love them so much. I know you can see the color. It's so crazy. <laughs> this one's even crazier. They are a capri. And I will tell you guys, game changer. Game changer, hear me out. I'm five foot seven. They go down to like my mid calf. They probably go about right there. That is why they are so good. So I wear a ton of jumpsuits. If you haven't seen my jumpsuit video that I recently posted, it's all about like if you're curvy, midsize, all these things, like you gotta be wearing jumpsuits. I will link it if you haven't seen it. This is what I exclusively, exclusively wear with my jumpsuit. So they're high waist and you do not see the line because they go down beyond, you really don't see it. And for me, that's really just been game changing because these are comfortable enough. They take a millisecond more to pull up than a regular legging. Obviously you could wear these with pants too. They're not super specific to like any one area. They just give you that little bit of contouring all the way down, that extra layer of protection to make you feel confident. Hands down, I can't recommend a fitted capri length type of either very tight legging or uh, something that is supposed to actually be shapewear. I love them. Can you tell? <laughs> Can you tell? I have, I don't know, at least six pairs of these things and they're always in the laundry, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that will do it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it, truly. It's been a video that I've been wanting to do for a really long time, and I really hope that it helps some of you out. If you have any additional questions, I am always available. I encourage everybody to follow me on Instagram. I love to be very active with our community over in the DMs on Instagram, um, answering questions a lot. So I love chatting with you. Uh, I would really appreciate if you did find value in the video to please give it a like. That truly does help myself or other creators that you might like here on YouTube. It helps us out a ton. So we certainly do always appreciate that. Please consider subscribing so that we can hang out again in the future. I do upload videos every single week and I generally focus on affordable beauty and fashion stuff. And with that, I will see you next time. Thinking I'll leave while I fall outside in the